Hey, you too. Hey. Thank you so much for coming to this meeting. No problem. I was a little bit confused why you wanted to call a writer's meeting for Falcon and the Winter Soldier now, seeing as the show premieres next week, but... And we're so excited for the premiere. So, so excited. Absolutely pumped. Uh, We just thought the script could maybe use a few last-minute edits before the show premieres. Last minute? You've shot the show already. We totally hear you. It's just... uh, We've watched WandaVision. Fantastic show. And we've just been thinking, does Defatless have any Easter eggs? Defat... Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, are there any license plates in the show that are actually combined issue numbers of specific Falcon and Winter Soldier comics? I, I don't think so. I, I could ask props. Or maybe um some red herrings, like, just to keep the audience guessing. Like if Sam yells to Bucky, uh, duck, and, and Bucky looks into the camera for a split second. Oh, and then the fans are like, was that a Howard the Duck reference? Now everyone thinks Howard the Duck is the big bad. They will never see the twist coming. What twist? Okay, listen, you guys. You're talking about two very different shows. All right, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier has the Easter eggs it has. We can't add anything now. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, totally, Mm -hmm. totally, totally. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's circle back to that. There's nothing to circle back to. Um, How many theme songs do we have? Because WandaVision had seven. At eight, if you count the absolute bop that is Agatha all along. Yes. Who's been messing up everything? Was Agatha all along? Do we have any absolute bops into fat mm-hmm. I just, I don't know what that means. Also, as you know, fans were really expecting one of the characters in WandaVision to turn out to be Mephisto. Big surprise to everyone when that guy didn't show up. Yeah, yeah. I really thought that fly. Or the rabbit. And, and Ralph? Ralph! Oh, big surprise there so we came up with a list of characters who we thought could turn out to secretly be mephisto and to fat loose i'm afraid to ask number one bucky barnes oh boy number two johnny storm from the fantastic four but played by mr chris evans <laughs> multiverse baby okay i have another meeting to get to so if we could just wrap this up yeah, sure. Um, we just have a, a couple more things. Just, just just small, small changes. Small, tiny changes. If it's something we can do in post, maybe. What is it? Same exact show. Nothing changes. But it's a 1950s sitcom. That's just episode one of WandaVision. Okay, she didn't like that. Okay, that one, that's, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. And we've got more. We've got more. Idea number two. It's the same show, mm-hmm. but it's a 1960s sitcom. Okay, uh, 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 idea number three. In the same show, but as a 1970s sitcom? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> that just means living off WandaVision, what? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no, we're just thinking we should drop the and. The and? In the title. Just the Falcon, the Winter Soldier. Or, or if you don't like that. I don't. Mm-hmm. Then how about WandaVision season two? Oh, shoot. I think we lost her. We didn't even get to do our Krasinski pitch. Uh, I'll shoot her an email. Okay, great. Thanks. What if it was the same show, but a 1980s sitcom? Now you're talking. (laughs) 